right, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Budden, Marissa, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'll name this podcast later. Something sounds a little bit funny with me. Mic check, mic check. Do I sound as fucking... You sound totally normal to do me. Do I sound wonderful like I normally do? You sound totally normal Wonderful, to me. Mr. Wonderful, Action Bronson album out mm-hmm. now. It is. And I have to plug because he's fucking really cool with Paul in some type of business way. And... Is, he's not, he's not inter- <laughs> on Interscope though, is he? Uh, No. Okay. Action Bronson is on Atlantic, I want to say. I could be totally wrong there. But uh, he has something to do with Paul. Got it. So, um, I heard that Slaughterhouse wanted to do something with him. That's what Twitter told me. Huh? Somebody on Twitter said well, that Slaughterhouse, Slaughterhouse kind of has to do stuff with him because of Paul. Because of Paul. Shout out to Paul Rosenberg. <laughs> no, Speaking said, of Rosenberg, said that. I want to fuck up my political connect. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, just throw it out the window. It's no, fine. but shout out to Action Bronson, Mr. Wonderful Album in Stores right now, and I do appreciate the virtual cookbook uh, that he is doing alongside the album as someone who is new to actually getting in the kitchen and oh chef. you're starting to get into the kitchen i've been in the kitchen for oh. close to a year now okay it's my way of raising my husband profile i, I thought you were going somewhere else with that yeah that's dope i think uh um, where did you think i, was going? <laughs> I thought you were just stopping at raising my husband so i was just a little stopping at what stopping at raising my husband and then i was like what are you talking what? about he's like oh. are you okay raising my husband yeah well that's why i was like what the fuck is you what, what are you talking about <clears throat> anyway, so uh, I do like that record that he and Chance the Rapper have. I think that's a pretty good record. The baby Blues joint. Chance the Rapper, I always get a good kick out of... Uh, every time I hear that name, I go back to uh, Drake and Trophies, is that? Oh, when he... Something about... I'm not Chance. Yeah, yeah. you don't even know. What I are know you, the, what I are know you the know line you're referring to. I what do you know about So what's hip-hop? the exact bar? What's the exact <laughs> bar? Joseph, I know everything about rap, button. Oh, the exact bar is... Uh, if I'd have left the ch- if I'd have left the shit to Chance, I'd have picked a name like Chance the Rapper. No offense, because I don't know that nigga. And then Never. he, the very next bar, he offends him. <laughs> I guess. Ouch. No offense, because I don't know that nigga. Focus on making records and getting bigger. Now he could, Chance could have t- taken that offensively. But uh, Chance opened up uh, along with Slaughterhouse for M at Wembley. Oh, yeah. Last year when M had uh, oh, easily over a hundred thousand people in there. That's Chance. what got to be a great feeling. Chance does big ass shows. Chance the rapper is really dope. Rory you don't really I know like much him. about hip hop, do you? What do you talk? Why? Why I feel are like you everything going there? you say is just very like uh, it's very generic. Yes. No, I just Chance know. do big ass shows. He does. He does a lot of festivals. <laughs> he's a big festival rapper. They don't play him on the radio as much, but he's a big festival rapper. He does. He does very good with touring. All right. Well, all he's right. He's a touring rapper. Okay. That all of that's what, a touring rapper. He is. Who did you hear say that somewhere? I Me, said right? it myself. No. When me and Rory were on our fucking campaign crusade for cam- uh, championing Cham- Chance the Rapper no, in our group when, chat. when you guys were hating on another rapper, that shall remain anonymous mm. because uh, I'm not chatty patty. Yeah. Shout out to my political But critics. anyway, so, <laughs> how, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we did so, I, I can already tell by Marissa's energy that this is going to be like a weird fucking podcast. No, not at all. He, he said when I came in, he's like, you're going to take it over. And I... I don't have any plans of that. I just had something to talk Marty about. Marty gets like fucking five retweets of people that support her. And then she comes in here on a fucking no, high I, horse. I've gotten the same tweets. And then I have to come bring her back down to earth. And then I come off like the bad guy because it seems like I'm being mean when I'm really not. I'm really just helping a friend. Yeah, I never take your comments as mean. Oh, because you so I just take it as Joseph. Well, yeah. What the hell does that mean? But anyway, how, how was your weekend? Did you do anything fun? Um, Nothing too crazy. I went to a wake on Friday. Uh, oh, that's totally not where I was about to go, but okay. Yeah, but no, it was interesting because my father, uh, I was going through his phone and he has like an album of, you know, pics of his daughter. And I realized that my f- pictures had synced to his phone one time when I brought his computer. And he has like a kind of a nude of mine in there, but he didn't say anything to me about it. And it doesn't delete because it's like through some weird airdrop Dropbox situation. Mm-hmm. And it's a pretty bad situation. And there's like pics of guys in like beds. <laughs> I never. So you were looking like a hoe and thought. But the, yeah, but it was phone. when I was in. It was 2008. It it synced like the first 50 photos in my phone. So it's a little weird. Your voice sounds funny. You need to get closer to the mic or something. How's this? Yeah, that's a lot better. Well, no. Anyway, no. listen. I need to let the listeners know. No one should ever want to see a Marissa Mendez nude. No, my nudes are popping. That's number one. My um, boobs like them. Unfortunately, I was privy to. Uh, <laughs> Marissa, you put yourself privy to it. No one told I, you to watch it. Can I please? It. 
let the listeners know what I'm talking about before you just interrupt me that way. Unfortunately, one day, back long time ago, when Marissa used to work for me, when she was the worst no, assistant ever. No, this was two ever. years ago. I was working for you. Oh, was it? Nope. We were just out in Edgewater doing what Stop we do. Stop disclosing my location. Actually, we were not your location. We were at someone else's. Well, I'm there, so it's disclosing my location. Anyway, um, yeah, unfortunately, I was privy to... This is definitely... Yeah, Hey, hey, the engineer Joey has this shit sounding all fucking Juan Epstein. -y. Like mm -hmm. I'm hearing clicks and shit. Yeah, it's just, just really unprofessional. It. And he left me outside for about ten minutes. But anyway, off of that, I was privy to uh, a uh, uh, Marissa Mendez sex tape. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, let me give the backstory before you go into whatever. Well, well, well. Before you do that, let me just let the people know this had to be. The worst. Okay, it wasn't sex a sex tape. tape. It was a quick, like, thirty-second video, which is a tape, I suppose. But the thing was, I hadn't had sex for six months because that was my first foray back into the world after a breakup. So, it all right, was so time just... out, time out, time out. Look at all the look how you how fast I spot the whole shit. So you, you were coming off of a breakup, yeah, I had and a six your month. first your first woo high into the uh, sex world. Uh huh. You decided to tape it. Yeah, well, this is, the, I chose him as my uh, reacclimation back into that world because he was who I was fucking before I got with my boyfriend. Don't try to use words like reacclimation. I'm still going to think that all of this has whole written all <laughs> no, over No, he was the guy that I was fucking with before I got with my ex. And so that made me the most comfortable because I still wasn't ready to meet guys. And Wait, shit. so you were cheating on your no, ex No, I never cheated on him. Uh, before, so when did you fuck homeboy? Two years prior. Oh, you are such a liar. What? I have you never cheated on anyone in my life. Marty. I don't Well, you've cheat. had one boyfriend in I've your life. I've had two. <laughs> you've had two boyfriends no, in your life. I had so a high school one, a college one, and a post-college. That really counts for nothing. It counts for this everything. This sex tape was the worst sex tape I had ever seen in my life, number one. It was all right. Number two. He liked it. Why did I see this? Because I was watching it on my phone, and you were like, oh my god, let me see. And you stole my phone, locked yourself in a bathroom, texted it to yourself so you had it on <laughs> your phone, and then you kept making fun of me about it. Yo, let me just let y'all know out there, I'm quick to snatch somebody's phone <laughs> and run with it. Locked himself uh, in a bathroom. So wait a minute now. This just gets more interesting. What? You were coming off of a breakup, and yes. I didn't even plan on talking about this at all. This is kind of like <laughs> freestyling this. Uh, you were coming off a breakup. Yeah. It didn't sound like it to me. Well, I was. You Don't even play me like I wasn't in your house crying every day, like, into my uh, food. Uh, fam, I'm talking about... The it, actual content of the that tape. I saw. Well, once, I mean, I'm not going to oh, cry. Dad, yes, daddy. <laughs> I think it was zaddy. I did not uh, say zaddy. And I, I think it was that. <laughs> yes, zaddy. Oh, uh, uh, and no. then he was equally fucking whack. So I'm like, oh, who is this, this? Say my name. No, say my whole name and my middle name. Oh, uh, uh, who's the that. best dick you ever got? You, zaddy. <laughs> like, it was real. It was like, uh, how old were you when this tape uh, uh, was filmed? 25. And it fucking sounded like you were 25. Years. It was nasty, and I wanted to unhear it and unsee well, it. Oh, but you still texted it to yourself? You didn't want to unhear it. Because that. it's hilarious. <laughs> it was like the exact opposite of any time I have taped myself. <laughs> Having sex. Like, well, for the record, he taped it, not me. He just happened to text it to me. I didn't even know he taped it. What like, a hoe. <laughs> what? That's was, really hoey. No, it's you not. You should be more aware of your surroundings when someone is inside of you. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, I've learned. How you didn't notice a phone with the flash? He didn't have a flash. We were in broad daylight. No, it was bright in the room. More yeah. reason that you should have noticed a man it was, holding was a phone. Me. I know. Another thing that was wrong about it. No one should ever be behind <laughs> you <laughs> during sex. Yeah. Look, <laughs> a lot of guys appreciate it. <laughs> Why is somebody behind Marissa? Oh, see, now I wish people could see Marissa. But anyway. Marissa's pretty. Yeah, no, 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 no. I didn't say you were not. Okay. Well, I'm sure I've said that before. But, <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is... You, it, I mean, the the rear area is just very Hollywood squarey. No, my. It's pretty butt. square. I have a butt. Nah, yeah. you know. No, it's not there. And and 
What a good segue. Go, Joe. And what I notice about people who don't have ass, because Marissa has like no ass I at all. Ass. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You really, really I do, do not. And if you Says keep it the up, guy that dates Tahiri and shit, like, that's ass. Can I can't do, compare to that. Can we do it? That is ass. But can we do one show where we're not talking about that? I'm just saying, look at your track record. You can't that's compare my ass to That's not even my track record. I would, even, I would debate uh, mine and Tahiri's history. I don't even know if I claim her. But uh, all right. Um, people without ass, right? They are really bad judges of ass. No, this is just Joe because I have a couple friends that have ass for days and he's like, that's not an ass. And it is like universally across the board accepted that they have a huge ass and Joe will still say they don't have ass. You told me your friend had a really, really huge ass. She does. She did not. She does. Then over the weekend, I saw you tweet that somebody had a really nice ass, and they did not. She also does, and I know you're talking about our mutual friend. Yeah, she does. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, she does not. Yeah, she does. But none of this is important. <laughs> I'm, I'm done talking to you, and this lasted way too long. Oh, Peter's here. Oh, looking nice Nice for you to show up. I did. I, this is a first and maybe a last. I'm going to chime in and say that Marissa does not have no ass. Thank you. She paid perfectly good money to have some <laughs> ass. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, no, well, that's the funny one. Well, first of all, Peter, Marissa, no. Marissa doesn't want anyone to know that she did that. That's number one. So she didn't do it. She didn't do it. That's right. Uh, number two, Marissa is the only person I know no, that did I, that, I just even though she do didn't do anything. it. And, and there's no ass there still. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, this I do think your standards, I Joe, my... your Joe standards are very tough. Like, Thank I you. Not, can Thank show you. you no ass. Like that that's not no ass. Thank you, everyone. You know well, I you, don't want to talk about this. Well, anymore. we're not talking we about your subject? your uh ass you bought or your ass you didn't buy. You just wasted ass. money. Okay. You should get a refund. Oh my god. Huh? I just want to say that Marissa, you can absolutely say that you never did it and people will believe you. <laughs> that's true. So didn't you didn't do, do it. it. No, no, you didn't do it. Okay, You're right. all right. Damn, I forgot where I was going. But but yeah, 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 yeah. You're really bad uh judges of Ass. No, Pete agrees with me. Thank you, Pete. But uh, <clears throat> off of that, so I had a really interesting uh, weekend. What did you do? I didn't really do anything but write music, right? That's good. But uh, when you when you uh, when you work your brain constantly, um, like my brain gets tired. Mm -hmm. It's like brain fatigue when you're just constantly thinking of words uh, throughout the day. Yep, so I so I, I needed know. I needed to go out. So I went out, me and and an old flame. Mm -hmm. We went out. I don't have to guess because I already know. No, you don't. Oh, um, yeah, we went out to uh, we went out to my hookah spot that shall remain anonymous because I don't want any of you creep niggas at my spot. It's a wonderful spot. The spot that we've all listen, listen, oh, listen, 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 right. listen. Yes, that spot. Okay. So we went to my hookah spot and. There was like a fucking abundance of just beautiful holes in there. It's a nice area, so. No, but, and normally there are very attractive women in this spot. But on this day, for some reason, it was like multiplied by like 10. Mm. And they all looked single. <laughs> How and, does one look single? Well, well I you, guess there's no when, man accompanying When you don't have a them. man with mm -hmm. you and you're just shaking your ass all night to fucking merengue and bachata. <laughs> and when you're staring at me with the fucking, <laughs> I want to fuck you eyes. You look single. Okay. They all looked ready for a threesome or foursome. Nice. They all looked just like ready to go. And all I could say to myself, well, no, no, no. Let me just give you some backstory here. The person that accompanied me, I don't normally mind going places with this person because sometimes, most times, or there have been instances where this person is also attracted to beautiful women. Mm -hmm. So that can be like really, really cool. And really fun. Uh, the fact that I'm a man never impedes on anything because she fucking likes girls too. Yep, that works. But for some reason, and we maybe we need a whole show to address um, the like selfish bisexual girls, the what? girls that are bisexual but they won't be bisexual with you. Yeah, well, it just, that's really, really, really whack. I think and, it comes to like a level of trust. Well, hold at on, times. hold on, hold on. Are you bisexual? No. So how the I'll, fuck do you know? Well, I'll, I'll do threesomes. But what? not with everyone. Wait, wait. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wait a minute. We might need more than an hour for the day. So you're not bisexual. No. 
I feel like bisexual would mean I'd have to be interested in event maybe dating a female if that was That's not what bisexual felt. means. And I have a big problem with the context of the English language being totally lost upon, t upon today's youth. And Marissa would be considered today's youth. Okay. She is 27, yes. right? Yep. That's youth. Okay. Um, Bisexual means you are attracted to women. It doesn't mean, oh, well, I feel like it would mean I would have to go, want to go to Houston's with them. <laughs> And, and I feel like it should mean I would want to go on a date with them and be in a relationship. That's not what it means. Okay. Well, then if that's the case, then uh, so you're, I'm not classifying myself. I'm not putting myself in that box. But you've ate some pussy before. Yes. So you're, well, I've never sucked dick, by the way. Right. Because uh, that would make me, uh, yeah. Very much Just so. to put things in perspective. <laughs> I know, here. but I think there's a double standard there. Why? Because you guys think that you guys can eat pussy and... It will be yeah what? that's not my sexual preference i just don't then mind why you it because i don't mind it it's cool well i mind sucking right dick. yeah you, sh you should because I just, i'm not gay i can't break down the logic and you it's just it just is so what you're saying makes absolutely no sense at yes, all it does i wouldn't be interested in dating a woman but i'd fuck one we're not talking about dating okay well so i'd fuck one so you'll then you're bisexual sure I'll take it. There we go. But I'm still not classifying myself as such. Well, you think you have an ass, so apparently <laughs> you just live in this adverse world where okay, everything well, that I is I enjoy isn't. my happy little world, so. But anyway, so on this particular night, this woman that uh, accompanied me, she wanted no parts of, uh, she wanted no parts of, uh... Bisexuality? <laughs> yeah! She was on some real, uh, let me know when you're ready to leave. I think maybe because maybe know. you guys are not perfectly back where you were uh, so for, for, again it you're becomes divulging. To a, you're divulging no too it much. becomes a level of trust at that point and i think that makes total sense it's just like trust yeah or like our, our i'm talking about fucking and you talking about i trust. know but there's just that level of comfort why do you somebody. Have to, that's and it's not, not trust it's that's not familiar yeah. familiarity yeah, but or trust that you're not gonna like go fuck around with the other chick and then she has to deal with the whole fucking oh psychological my, yo, thing. Women, it's a whole my nigga, level to that shit. I don't ever want to. Like, I'd be cool to do a threesome with a guy that like I literally don't care about and like I don't care if he goes and ends up fucking with a girl or one that I'm so close with that I know he would never dishonor me and like go behind my back with her. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it, I know your last threesome. Was that your last threesome? Uh, what was my last threesome? Oh, yeah. What a hoe. <laughs> what a fucking hoe. <laughs> well, let me give you a minute to figure out yeah, yeah, when yeah. you're last. Yeah, that's what, how we that? were out and I got that text. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you ate ugly pussy at that. So you would she really have. No, pussy. no, she was not average. You didn't really see her. I did see her because we found her Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went through fucking 90 weeks. Yeah. I mean, uh, whatever. You should be ashamed of yourself. I mean, it was just. It was no option. So not only are you fucking bisexual, <laughs> but you'll eat ugly pussy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Wait, and, and. She was clean. And because my Virgo brain has to dig as deep as possible. I didn't pick her. And, oh, even worse. So you'll just fucking eat any old box. No. <laughs> so on top of that, you just told me that you had this particular nose ring in since October. So I have to assume that you ate this girl with that nose ring. Yeah, well, I take a shower every day. Oh, so that cleans the nose <laughs> ring. Oh, that really does it there. So you fucking, uh, what's the, is you Luffy, Loofer? Is, is that what it's called? A loofa? A loofa. You loofa with your nose ring? Oh, what a fucking thought bag. You're a thought bag. Anyway, uh... Oh, man, I was going somewhere. Oh, yeah. So when I was sitting there with this woman, I felt like I was bringing like I, I was I was for two seconds. I was angry. I had brought sand to the beach. Mm -hmm. Now, the type of person I am, I totally don't ever mind bringing sand to the beach at all. Yeah, you do it often. Yeah. Well, because number one, uh, uh, um, I'm extremely peculiar with women. So. Nine times out of ten, maybe nine and a half times out of ten, the beach is not going to have the type of sand that I'm looking for. That's number one. Number two, I'm such a fucking G, my nig, that sand never stops me from meeting other sand. From making a sand castle. Yeah, mm. from making a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Who's cornier than me? Nobody, right? How many people a, know? Shut the fuck up. A sandwich? <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh, uh, what a play on words. I'm wonderful. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sand never stops me from from uh, pursuing someone else. Mm -hmm. And and typically, this leads to, like, really fun times. This it is back in, back in my threesome days. Right. Because I don't, I don't. You don't participate in no, such activities no, no, any no, longer. No, 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 You've no. grown up. 
No, not that I've grown up. I'm too, I'm, I'm too, I don't, listen, it's hard enough pleasing one woman. Mm. <laughs> right, I don't have time to be pleasing two. Okay. And then it's too many, like women have changed the threesome rules now. Mm. Okay. Like if I can't have a threesome and like the best way to, to be safe during the threesome. So I hear uh-huh. is you can't be the driver. You Let the women can, control the, the no 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 the wom- the the woman that you are closest with mm. has to drive. The second that you look like you are driving, and if you're gonna drive, you have to ignore the other girl. <laughs> that might be the smartest advice ever. You're really giving some some threesome gems here. Yeah, you totally. I think the fellas need to take note. Totally. Well, for, first of all, half of the listeners out there have never had a threesome. <laughs> and, and two, y'all uh, whack. The, uh, <laughs> y'all whack. I had mad threesomes. With ugly I've bitches. only had two. I've only had two. Only two. Yeah. Who was the first one? Um, my homegirl and that dude that was a uh, reacclimating me back into this oh post breakup. God. I know he didn't deserve it. He really didn't. But I was wow. just I wanted to like experiment with everything. I hadn't done any of that stuff at that point, so I just wanted to like try everything. So I what could. have you not done sexually, or do I even want to know that? I don't want to know. I don't want to talk about okay. your your sex life because it's really nasty. Yeah. Um. Damn, you threw me off. I I didn't throw you. Oh, off. so uh, yeah. So I don't I don't I don't partake in those activities any longer. Threesomes and and all of that jazz I'm, I'm too i'm too vintage I'm, if you um, get refined. in a very serious relationship would you be then interested in possibly trying at that point you know I, the, the last almost threesome well no 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 uh about four almost threesomes ago <laughs> maybe six how many almost threesomes <laughs> almost do you almost get involved in because contrary to popular belief i'm typically the guy that deads the threesome Okay, why? I always find two girls that are, that are the one of, that have fucked each other that wants to include me because they're both fucking hoe bags or whatever. Mm. But no, so six almost threesomes ago, I had a big argument with a girl for trying to have a threesome with me. An argument? Yeah. Shame on her for trying yep. to please you. Her and I were, uh, and I'll try to tell the story as quickly as possible. Her and I, we were uh, an item. Okay. Right? And... I invited a friend of mine over. Mm-hmm. Uh, the friend of mine that came over is a very attractive woman, very voluptuous, uh, fat ass. But it wasn't me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna really fire you. Okay. Um, but me and this woman had never been intimate. Yeah, there's something clicking because the engineer fucking sucks today. Well, uh, it might be phone interference. <laughs> phone interference. Oh yeah, let me take this wire out. Uh, all right, so yeah, but me, so me and his friend had had never had sex, even though all, everybody out there thinks that I fucked like all of my fucking friends, but couldn't be further from the truth. Mm-hmm. So the friend comes over, and you know they start drinking, and by the end of the fucking night, these two niggers all fucking kissy kissy face, touchy touchy, suck titty, rub pussy, blase blase blah. Right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. And they both are, got their little lusty voices on. Oh, Joe, come on. Let me suck your dick. Joe, <laughs> join, Joe. And I'm like, nah. I'm cool. Y'all rock. I'm chilling. Mm. All right. So this went on. I'll, I'll save some of these details. But this went on. So in the morning, I was a little confused. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to know what made this girl think that it was okay to open that door with an associate of mine that I invited over if I had never opened it. Mm. If I had never opened this door, clearly it was for a reason. So why would you, someone who is close to me, open the sex door with this other person? Because and she then, may assume that you didn't because you don't ever want to offend her. That's a, that's a, it's a, no, I've known the, the associate line. way longer than uh, the, the other woman. So if I wanted to fuck the associate, I would have fucked the associate. Okay. So yeah, I cursed this girl the fuck out. Yeah, it was very inconsiderate of her. Um, and damn, that's not the first time we've had a little incident like that, really? actually. But uh, totally outside of that. Yeah, so um then I felt bad because she said she was only doing it for me because she wanted to make me happy and all this bullshit. I was like, oh this, this is only a complaint Joe Budden would ever Right. Make. He's such a gel. Yeah. I mean, your life right. would have this as like a problem that happened. It was though. 
I didn't speak to that. I didn't speak to either of them for like a little while. Good for you. Way to take a stand. <laughs> Wait, do I really sound that like abnormal? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's another issue that needs to be chance. addressed. Men need to just stop plugging every damn thing. Uh, that's not every damn thing. It's two women that you have a rapport with. Yeah, so. but see, un unlike most people, stupid me, this is my theory with, with this. Mm. Pete, did you guys do a 20 minute Juan Epstein the other day? It was a preview, right? It's not the whole thing. It was a weird, random bonus episode where Scythe announced that he's having a baby. Yo, y'all just think y'all are like the podcast Congratulations, fucking... Scythe. Congrats, Scythe. Mm -hmm. First baby. Very Damn, exciting. that's a horrible time to lose your job. Yeah, but he's he's thriving. He's good. Don't take it to a negative place. It's a great place. Yay! He's just, yeah, he's just fine. Don't you worry. Yep. Well, I'm sure he's just fine, but I mean, shit. Life has been squirreling away <laughs> money for 20 years. Hot 97 should have some type of fucking empathy, some remorse. You know, <laughs> fire me when I got a kid he coming. Fire he left him. He he fired. Left. I'd have shot that whole shit up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first time? Uh, oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's true, too. Uh, so, yeah, this is my uh, theory with that. Women are already as complicated as complicated can be, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go fidgeting with their brains by just sticking penis inside of them often without having enough information about the person. 100%. Oh, you already know this about me. So why am I telling you? Yeah. Oh, I'm telling listeners. No, you're telling the listeners. I'm telling I forgot that people were listening. Yeah, yeah. So so <laughs> when, so oh, so what what we do as men is we we say, "We'll fuck the girl and we will deal with the crazy later." No. <laughs> So I don't really know if I'm that different or I have had enough crazy bitches in my life to where it's like, okay, I don't take crazy for granted. I think it's a mix it's, of both. You're able to do that. You can only do that logical deduction because of the unusual amount of vagina that you've gotten. Whoa, 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 whoa. Allegedly. Hashtag, by the way, the new hashtag for this episode will be Joe Budden problems um, because most of the... People sitting around drinking Mountain Dew and eating a seven-layer burrito right now have never <laughs> had a threesome. Well, see, that's the other thing. I don't think that these are Joe Budden problems because I think that uh, pussy is depreciating daily. Uh, it's very easy to get... It's probably easier to get now than it's ever been, actually. Especially with social media. You look like you got a couple bands on Instagram. Bitches want to throw that box to the DM. Speaking of that... You know, you know what's been happening to me? Let me tell you what's been happening. And we're going to put it into this right this second. Mm. Bitches have been, and no, 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 here's some backstory. Chicks that I have absolutely no rapport with at all. Mm -hmm. Chicks that I don't even want to be face to face with for longer than two minutes, mm -hmm. right? Have been hitting me, texting me, DMing me, Insta DMing me. And this is the line. Let's go on vacation. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hold up, you hoes. <laughs> this needs to be addressed. Now, if I wasn't me. Right. And I was just some nigga with some money. Mm -hmm. And one of these manufactured women, because they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. But they should be beautiful because they paid the doctor to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, you know about that. No, I well, yours, I don't know what doctor oh, you Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> all right, all right, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. But, uh, yeah, so these beautiful women just, women just pop up in somebody's fucking inbox saying mm -hmm. something like, babe, let's go on vacation. Now, I have to assume that they certainly aren't paying for this. I was so, going to say, where's the money going in this? Oh, the guy. Okay. This, is how, this is how these holes so are moving really out saying, here. hey, take me on vacation. Yeah, yeah, but they don't word it that way. Oh. Gotta watch semantics here. I'm going to try that. I'm so going to do that today. Oh, no, you might not I'm have to say I'm going to experiment. You may not. The new bitch nigga take you to Staten Island. <laughs> 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 I'm going to take you to an island. Oh, it's but, so exotic all day. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, so one day I was really, really bored. <laughs> and really, really petty. And I engaged this girl. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I would expose her if I remembered her Instagram name. It was one of those fucking hoe names, Miss Cherry Baby or something really hoey. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, she said, Bae, let's go on vacation. And I said, all right. <laughs> well, where would you like to go? And she said something like fucking Bora Bora. <laughs> <laughs> in my head I'm like what would make this whole think that I want to go to any why would you think I want to go to fucking 52nd street with her <laughs> I want to go to the Port Authority with this whole but 
very attractive face, mm-hmm. uh, very attractive implants, mm-hmm. and her lower posterior is more like you, but nice. which is why she only takes pictures from the top mm-hmm. up. You got to watch these angles and these pictures. I'm dropping jewels here today. Okay, this is pretty good. But anyway, so I said, <laughs> I so I said, oh, and I'm such a fucking mutt. I said, um. Well, what? Uh, damn, 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 damn. I said, uh, oh, no, no. She then hit me back first before I could reply. And she said, she said, um, I want to go somewhere hot where I can just be naked. Oh, she what a fucking just, bird. Yeah. Like, so I said, just throwing some bait out there mm-hmm. like a doofus. Well, if you're going to be naked, what am I supposed to wear? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, that choice is yours. Oh, she thought she had it. At this oh, point. yeah. She, she was packing her fucking so, suitcase. Oh, already. and I didn't help matters at all because I said, why don't you send me your full name mm, and your birthday. date of birth? Mm-hmm. And she said, all right, Zaddy, as soon as, <laughs> as soon as I get home and this is the dates I'm free. Needless to say, I, I never reached out to this fucking right. hoe and I judged her and I almost blocked and reported her as fucking spam. But... That was like the fourth girl that I have absolutely no rapport with mm-hmm. to hit me and say, let's go on vacation. So, fellas, in the event that you are experiencing this, I'm pretty sure Peter is saying that they're not experiencing yeah. this. Hashtag Joe Budden problems. Yeah. No one listening is having kind of hot Instagram models. Ask them to go on vacation. And if they did... 90% of guys, myself included, if I was single, would say yes, well worth the money. Yeah, because the people that listen to this podcast are like... I want men to be pickier. Yeah, I don't think any of them are fucking Instagram models. No, or be kidding. clear. all some People are fucking the Instagram models. Yeah. Let's be... The- let's not give too much credit to the Instagram models. Because, like, I just finished tweeting, if you ever look at these whole selfies and look at their bathrooms, Mm -hmm. they're not above fucking working class dick. These bitches' bathrooms are pretty Are nuts. Mm. Nuts, nuts, the decor, the shower curtains, the soap be hanging on to by a bubble. (laughs) (laughs) These, These whole bathrooms are horrible. And, yes... I'm looking at things outside of the actual girl in the selfie. Yes, definitely. Right. I but I'm a dick that way. But yeah. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, back to my story that I started 20 minutes ago. So the girl I went out with, she fucking was mad selfish, rushed me out of there. And that was the end of my sand to the beach experience. Then I had this other girl who I kind of, who shall remain anonymous continuously tell me that she needed gold harachis. What? Now, this is sneakerhead hype beast type shit. And nothing sounds wrong with that uh-huh. as currently stated. However, it was the context in which this was happening. She was sounding very lusty. Mm-hmm. And it really made me very ashamed of myself. And she was drunk, she was inebriated, and, and she was Spanish. So it came out like, Joe, give me go harachis. <laughs> Joe, and she was touching me and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it, it came off like she was exchanging sex. For sneakers. For gold harachis. Mm. And then I took a step back and needed to reevaluate. My entire existence. Were you contemplating giving it to her? No, I wasn't. Oh. And that was our other thing. Come on, you know you could get it. You could get any sneaker. I'm like, really? Is that my fucking... Is that what I've <laughs> accomplished in life? I can get any sneaker. Yeah. I'm sneaker man. Yeah. <laughs> One thing you've accomplished in life. Shut up, Pete. Uh, accomplished you... many other things. That is one of them. Can, can you get gold harajis? Yeah. Oh. Well, no. No, because she listens to this podcast. Um, I want this pair of Jordans. Would you be able to help me? Shut with down, that? I don't, would you grow up? I, what? About, women, wrong women pair, wear Jordans. How about get a pair of heels? I have a bunch. I almost wore a pair today. You know what? Can you take a picture of your heel collection so we can discuss it on our next podcast? <laughs> no. I, I, something tells me your heel collection is really trash. <laughs> I don't really enjoy wearing. Oh, uh, so what do you know? Look but how look how fast nice... we fucking concede no, what but we I say. Have, I do wear heels. I have a bunch. Where do you get your heels from? <laughs> anyway, don't interrupt my story. So then, so then, and then, and 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 then, and this is my last story about my weekend. 
And then I I did what I do every few years. Mm -hmm. I went on a date with a girl. New girl? Who, who, um, how do we put this? I'm trying to think of a nice, clean way to say this. I did like opposite Joe day, which I do like every five years, where I go on a date with a girl that it's not your you type. just wouldn't guess it at all. That's yeah, just to say nicely. Yeah, she type. was fucking successful, great job, no kids, <laughs> own crib, own car. Uh, she didn't tweet like a hoe. Actually, she had like a hundred followers or something. Doesn't a real him. gem, real gem out there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went on a date with her. And um, I won't even talk about the date, but, uh, and this is another, uh, I felt like pure shit moment. So in, in, in trying to decipher where to go and eat, because this girl was a very picky eater, uh, she threw out at least four spots that I wanted to go to. And when she finally decided on a spot, um, I said, okay, um, well, do you want to call and do we, oh no, I said, do we need a reservation for this spot? And she said, of course. And then I said, okay, do you want to make it or should I make it? Mm -hmm. And then she said, you, and I said, all right, I'll call you back. And I hung up and just that fast, I said, wow, what an idiot. What a dickhead. Who asked the girl if she wants to call and make a reservation? That's how far removed I am from the dating scene. Yeah. That's bad. It is pretty bad. I must have came off like a real just like mm -hmm. shit ball. And probably exactly the stereotypes that surround you. Uh, but it's cool. Uh, I, I did. I did. Uh, me and her did speak about it. And mm -hmm. she said, yeah, when you said that, I was a little taken aback. Of course you were because you are fucking studious, fucking uh, pristine right. gem out there. But whatever. I'm off of that. So um, we have a guest. We do have a guest. The woman who is probably largely responsible for this path of destruction. I was just going to say, I wonder oh, if our guest hey, is... Hey, a... all of this stuff that I have spoken about this far, oh, man. We're blaming it I on have, her? I have to wonder what life... Oh, is that her right there? No, it's not. I, I would. I have to wonder what life would be oh. like without, um, without, this, without our guest. I wonder how different it would be. But because I'm a Virgo and we have to blame someone, can we not say any names? Let's not announce our guest just oh, yet. Oh, I was about to do like a big announcer voice. And there you, she yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, because you're really corny. <laughs> um, talk to them while I say Okay, so really um, uh, oh on Saturday night, Joe is giving her a hug right now. On Saturday night, I went to a club in Jersey. Um... Had a great time with Flex. Look how horrible it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I leave you. I leave you to do this for two seconds while I say hello to somebody, and you just fuck the entire podcast. No, I didn't oh, know what to say. I know, which is why, which is why you're on that chair, and I'm in this. You're exactly. gonna get fired. Nope. Um, this, is, uh, this is your podcast. Let's just I'm test here. this mic really quick. Uh, you smell nice. Thank, thank you. you. How do no, you know that's her, not me? Because she smells like a girl, and I hope you don't smell like a girl. Uh, I'm getting floral and. You know, Marty, so. test her mic. Say something here. Mic check, mic check. All right, so Marissa her in mic. the building. All right, all right, all right. That's enough of you. That's enough of you. That's enough of you. Um, so, right? So, so some of you that have been listening to this podcast uh, for weeks now, episodes. and certainly not because of Marissa, it would nope. all definitely be because of me. That was episode one or two, right? I'm going to say two. Two? Mm -hmm. Definitely not one. One was all about our I don't even know how this story things. came up. In, in episode two. But I told a story. And why am I telling a story from the sixth grade anyway? <laughs> because you're dumb. That's really weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, some it was a defining moment. In your adolescence. No, in life. Okay. <laughs> Not in my fucking adolescence. Well, it, it, now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I fucking take anger out on women mm -hmm. because of this. <laughs> because of this person so, right here to my left. <laughs> so I told the story about how I was in the sixth grade at Charles J. Waters, PS24. That's the name of the school, right? Charles J. Waters? Yes. Charles J. Waters. And how I sat behind a girl and I had the biggest crush on this girl. And she didn't give a fuck. Not a single She one. could care less. She just curved me the entire school year. Because she was stuck on Eric Caratini. Who apparently... Is I, that, that, you, give oh. you give it too much. 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 Okay. This is backstory. This is backstory. Yeah, well, we have to go forward. So, 
And this is why the internet is beautiful. So, so I told this story on the podcast and I spoke about how hurt I was and how it affected me throughout my life. Mm -hmm. And somebody out there, <laughs> somebody <laughs> out there went and found this woman mm -hmm. and the guy. And the guy. We they found, found the guy everyone. first. Yeah, they so did. They found Eric Caratini first. Eric Caratini is incarcerated. <laughs> they gave us on, his record. Un unfortunately. Um, and he is eligible for parole in 2023. Did you know that? Absolutely not. All right, you didn't know that. You've got to get closer to the mic. But yeah, he is eligible for, uh, eligible uh, eligible oh, for parole. Oh, she's getting and... tongue-tied. <laughs> look at you. Don't uh, look at me like that. I guess it's okay for you to do that. <laughs> you, can, you can have your fun. Okay. Uh, 2023, you. and then I felt really bad. Mm. Um, And then shortly after that, just as the Lord would have it, mm -hmm. they found Alma Fucking Reyes. Yes, they did. Was it was it you that tweeted me? Oh, okay. So ah, yes. That was you. You found out. That is her. Thank you. That is her. Because when I was fucking tweet stalking you. <laughs> yes. Did you tweet me? She tweeted she did both tweet of us. Me. Yeah. Yeah, but my mentions are fucking ridiculous. Okay, like, I'm sorry. I'm not a fucking 3, famous rapper mentions. reality star. Yeah, but you're famous for something. I'm famous adjacent. You're f huh? Famous adjacent. That's Pete's word. It's like adjacent. Don't do that again. <laughs> Alma Reyes is my very first guest, and I think that that is so appropriate. Alma, Absolutely. how are you? I'm great. How are you? I, am, emo I am emotionally scarred <laughs> um, from our past dealings or lack of dealings. Mm. You set off this huge emotional emotional roller coaster with me, and I've been just on a, on a rampage. Hurting women He's ever since. Running through these ladies ever since. <laughs> <laughs> because in the sixth allegedly, grade. Yeah, allegedly. 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 Right. Now, did you hear uh, this story at all? Or, yes. Well, I listened to it. Oh, you did listen mm -hmm. to it? Was it because of your friend or do you enjoy the internet? Because no, because of, of my No, friend. it's because okay. of her friend. She's not checking you out on the fucking <laughs> I wasn't podcast. thinking me. I was thinking you. No, I don't well, follow no, she, him she, at all. She been stopping. Ben wasn't never checking me. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, uh, so what did you think when you heard this story? I was surprised. Why? It's been 18 years. It's been 20 years, actually. No, 18. Well, yeah. Not 18. Close 20. 20. All right, 20. I remember. You remember every detail. <laughs> funny how the things you... Uh, what's that little quote? Uh, funny how the things you never forget. What is it? You never I forget. Some people know. never uh, remember. I don't it know. Seems legit. I'll figure it out. Did you care about Joe back in? Like, did you even know? Wait, I, I gotta get into her fucking thoughts when she heard this story. Okay. <laughs> what were your thoughts when you heard this story? I was shocked. You were shocked because why is this fucking guy talking about this exactly. story from twenty years After ago? After so many years. See, you didn't even know the impact. That you I did had. not. I had no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> now, what were you saying? I wanted to know your thoughts on him back then. Oh man. Now before she and says, hold on, wait. Now before she I, I says a this, part question. Can I ask? Can I ask my two parts? Well, this is kind of like a truth or truth game, right? Uh, so, oh, <laughs> literally, we're not we going to play truth or truth. Okay, right now. I wanted to know your thoughts on him back then, and as he came to fame from my favorite song. Oh, pump it up! They played it in the club this week. I was famous. Before I pump forgot it up, all the way. words. Um, as he came to fame, did you ever kind of regret? Were you imagining like, him shit? I might have maybe been the next. You know, the video next. star. If well, I would have dated, I Joe resent Lennon. that. Nah, yeah, well, a video true. star. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> number one. Before she answers that, I will say that in Alma's defense, and this is very humble mm -hmm. of me, mm -hmm. I probably wasn't getting very much. Uh, well, I was a virgin then. In the sixth grade. Okay. Uh, I would hope yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hold on. I was just reviewing in my uh, head. I wasn't yes, judging Marissa, you. I, was I know that sounds weird. Okay. To you. I was too. Relax. <laughs> relax. Jeez. Now, wait. Now, now I'm, I'm going to assume you were also a virgin. Of course. So, so that could be one reason. Maybe she didn't even know. She didn't even know enough about guys, but you liked that Eric. She liked character. Eric, so she, she just like, wasn't. She liked she Eric. Was. She did. <laughs> you wanted to lose your fucking uh, virginity to Eric. <laughs> So no, I, I did not. And by the way, he did give me play. But what is play at in sixth grade? What race was Eric? Was he looked he looked whitish, Spanish? He was Puerto Italian? Rican Italian. Yeah. Was yeah. it a race thing? No. Hmm. Wait a minute. Some girls don't like black guys. 
It's a thing. Some wait, girls don't like white guys. Well, you know my memory's bad. I got to really dig back here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Don't lie. That's a thing. A lot no, of, no, especially no. Spanish girls. Don't lie. Don't lie about uh, what? 20 years later. You wanted Eric Caratini. You did. I remember it. It was mm-hmm. a sixth grade crush. What is that? That counts. <laughs> it definitely counts. That it broke, counts. It broke Joey's sixth grade heart. Uh, and <laughs> then I find out twenty years later. No, you knew it back. You I never did made not. it known. She she did. Did. You never Were made you it known. Were you one of those weirdos My that nigga. just sat there fantasizing? He never. I just sat right behind her. Yeah, just picturing your lives together, but never actually never fucking made. verbalizing no. the things exactly. you wanted. Thank you. I think I even wrote a note. You did not. Ooh, did you fold it up with those pretty little corners and then pass it on? Alma Reyes. Don't lie. Joseph when... Button. Wow. Mm. Did you don't, call him don't Joseph lie. back then? She didn't call me anything. Oh. <laughs> she paid you dust. I'm bringing that So back. you had... <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That's not even a slang. <laughs> so you... So according to you, and this is a lie, but whatever, you had no idea that the guy who sat right behind you had an affinity for you. Is that what you are saying right this second? No, I mean, I was told oh. that you didn't like me. Oh, but you never they approached was me. You so bad that they talked about it in the streets, <laughs> and she still didn't give a fuck. So, they was so, all laughing at uh, All right, Marissa, we got it, we got uh. it, we got it. So someone did tell you. But it didn't come from you. But they told you. Yeah, they did. Who told you? I don't remember who. Sixth grade. Giselle? No. You were, it wasn't Giselle. Giselle. It wasn't Giselle. Yeah, she used to talk to a girl named Giselle back mm-hmm. I still do. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You still speak to Giselle? Yeah. How's Giselle? She's good. How's she doing? Where's she? She's married with kids. In Jersey City. Everybody's married with kids. Hi, I live Giselle. in Jersey City, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. We didn't ask you I'm that. just throwing that in there. Okay, so it wasn't Giselle, <laughs> but somebody told you, and it, that meant nothing to you. You could have cared less. You didn't give a fuck. I mean, just just own it. I didn't look at you that way. Oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> What's going Damn. on in the world? Damn. Oh, my. First of all, I don't even remember the last time I've heard somebody say that. Yeah. And, and today, today, when women say that to me, it's a lie. <laughs> I don't look at you well, like I'm that. I'm not lying. Well, no, no, I'm talking about you. Oh, okay. this is This is 20 years ago. I'm talking about now. And you, you better not look at me that, <laughs> that so, way. Uh, hold on, wait. So how so you did you at look Eric at Eric Caratini Joe? that way, though? Was Joe was Joe popping in back then? Was he a dork? What was his situation? I probably wouldn't have gave me any pussy either back then. He, mm, he you was can like say a, it. You class clown. It. It's class fine. clown. He was a oh, class clown. Oh, those are the ones that usually end up as rappers. So mm. really, didn't you take the normal route? <laughs> yeah. What study shows that? I uh, just you know the ones. You know what's funny though? I'm a clown still. You are. You are. I'm super clowny still, but uh, we don't need to do that. So, right. but so the class clown, you figure, and it's funny because today humor gets you pussy. Yeah. Mm. Not just not get you Alma <laughs> Reyes oh, in the sixth grade though. Not, at all. <laughs> not with this Alma Reyes though. No. So, so at some point, you're saying Eric Caratini did approach you in that way. Mm-hmm. Eric Caratini wasn't a virgin. Well, he was older than you guys. Why was he that age? He was older than me. And if he wasn't, he seemed fucking older than me. Mm, he had that sweat. In the sixth grade? He wasn't that much. Because we were in sixth and seventh grade, right? That's two years of pain. And high school. You guys no, no, high no, school no, 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 Slow down. We did not. We weren't. You... No. Not in the same class, but we went to Lincoln. Okay, well, what happened? And you was were around after after twenty four. I went to high school in North Carolina, right? Mm-hmm. And I went to boarding school out there, and I dropped out, and then I came back to Jersey, and I went to Lincoln. But by then, my life was already holy shit. I never knew that about you. Why don't you ask questions? That's amazing. Well, yeah. Hey, Joe, did you ever go to high school in North Carolina? That's gonna fucking well, come well, across well, my mind. It's, it's docu- it's well documented in my past. But anyway, so I, then, I, I by the time I got to Lincoln, it, I wasn't. I was off school. Okay. You did go to Lincoln, right? So you were in a different mindset at this point. Oh yeah. Were you on your rap shit? I was. I, at this point, I was too. I was too high to be concerned with <gasps> Alma and women, and I was fucked up in at Lincoln. Mm. <laughs> uh, but, but, you did go to Lincoln. Yeah. We could have had sex in Lincoln because you weren't. A you virgin. were talking to Magali. You remember? Oh. Sounds oh. like someone <laughs> no. <trying> to talk. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, who the fuck is Magali? Magali. And why was that her name? <laughs> and do you still speak to like Magali? A country. <laughs> Wait, who's Magali? Uh, we used to hang out on Gifford together. Me, you, Lucky, Maggie. See, he don't Magali? Oh, so you guys used to hang out? Maggie. No idea. Your memory is Your shit. Memory My is. memory is really bad. Though. But that just goes to show how much you meant to him that he clearly Ooh, remembered you. Man. Was Maggie cute? I wouldn't judge her. Yeah, I think so. That means no. Yeah, <laughs> that means, it doesn't sound like a that positive she wasn't, situation. That means she wasn't, uh, she wasn't too hot back then. Uh, damn. My Isn't God. That crazy? Interesting. So now let's rewind before high school. Because my memory's bad. I could be totally off here. But you and I went to the movies one day. We did? Oh, there's development here? I thought we did. <laughs> he was so into her. He was making shit up in his brain. <laughs> no, I thought, I, thought that me, I thought that we went to see Juice. I don't remember. God, we, you guys are old. We went to... <laughs> why, why are we old? That was never odd. Because you were two years old, exactly. right? When, when Juice came out. No, we, her and I were very young when Juice came out, too. Mm -hmm. But... I remember it because I thought that was it. You thought you were about to shoot I was in. Shot. Yeah. I was going to shoot my shot. It was shot. Yeah, we went with two other people. Though Who those people are, I don't fucking remember Magali, at all. Magali, obviously. No, no, I didn't go with Magali. <laughs> I, want, I don't ever want to. I'm mad that we fucking let people know that I talked to a girl named Magali. That sounds exotic. Yeah, I'm sure it's not exotic <laughs> in, in fucking Jersey City. <laughs> Nobody exotic in Jersey City. Mm. Actually, all you the, the women just have the wrong definition of the, the term exotic. I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know. Okay. But my point still stands about women. <laughs> yeah, so we went to the movies to see Juice. And I thought that we were making some this type is of... This news to all I thought we it's, were making like... Some leeway together. Obviously, it meant n so much nothing to her that she doesn't even recall. So I'm going to need you to... <laughs> Let go of that I don't part. I don't remember. Hmm? I'm hurt. I don't remember. <laughs> I I think instead of healing the wounds that we came here for yeah, today, I think kinda, we just opened them up more. You're kind of like reopening. That's crazy you don't remember a I thing don't. with you. I bought popcorn. <laughs> I did you did. buy it for yourself or for her? As, as a fourteen, as a little nigga, to Apparently, buy some Apparently, I didn't get any popcorn because I don't remember. So, you, were you guys still in middle school at this point, or we had gone to high no, school? We no, we were in middle school, and it okay. was raining. And wow. it was a weekend. I had this to beg my fucking mom that? to go outside. This was a very special night for Joe, and uh, clearly, um, you were hoping that Eric would be there, and that's <laughs> why you went to the movies. And he wasn't, well, so you erased that part. Well, no, this was remember. probably just like a really casual thing for us. You just probably wanted to see the movie. But, yeah, that's what I was going to add. Let's rewind back to that. So Eric, at some point, came to holler at you. Did, Eric didn't go to Lincoln, right? No. I don't think Eric went to high school. He went to a little <laughs> prime really after yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think Eric went to high school. Because he realized in the future he'd never be able to compete with Joe Budden. That's not so what happened at all. he turned to the dark He was side. very much competing. He was killing me back then. <laughs> but um, look at us now. Yeah. Mm hmm well, no, that's horrible, and that's that's, that's that's a horrible thing to say, and I personally don't live that way. But, so Eric did attempt to holler at you at some point, mm -hmm. and, and in accordance to your story, you shut it down. No. She obviously... Oh, they dated! <laughs> oh, no, fuck! No, 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 we did oh, not date. Oh, my God! <laughs> Eric, oh, oh, I'm fucking dying here. We did not date. You fucked Eric Caratini. No, of course. Not in the sixth grade, are you no, serious? No, 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 no. Oh, wait, so y'all dealt in the sixth grade? I think it was seventh or eighth grade. Ah, uh, that's my point. But still, there was no, no, nothing crazy. So then, what do people do when they date? At we that were not dating, age? that came from you, not from me. No, I got it from you. You said he, I said he, he approached came, me. Approached, he gave me play because in your last podcast, you said he didn't give me any play. Oh, so you want to rectify that? Yes. You want to fix that yes. one up? All right, so, so he did give you play. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I want to hear that. I don't want to talk about it. That's sixth grade. So, so it didn't last very long. No, oh, no, no. No, it's the sixth grade. Mm. So maybe it would... Yo, hey, Joey, something's fucking up in here, but okay, I think I fixed it without you. Okay, so... High school. I fixed it already. So high school... I'm assuming that's when your love life just began to sprout. Blossom. My love life. Yeah. People have to, at some point, begin to have a love life. Mm. Mm. And high school is typically when this occurs. Now, for me, it was really bad. Uh, that damn Shivanti chestnut. 
Oh, it was bad. Is that a person? Yeah, it's the person that fucking snatched my virginity from me. I saved for Alma, and she didn't fucking, oh. she didn't fucking want it. So yeah. I, Shavanti Chestnut from Teaneck. That's a weird name. In North Carolina, who the, uh, had alleg allegedly slept with a few men at the school. Uh, but I figured that that was good. You get, uh, some, you get, you want to get someone who is more experienced than you. You don't just want to be two virgins sitting there just doing it. But it was hard. What a horrible, horrible, horrible experience. I can't wait for the internet to pull her up because you know that's next. Won't find her. <laughs> won't find Shivanti. I don't think it'll be that easy. No. Uh, and I really hope they don't find her. If they Shivanti found these two, I'm pretty sure they're gonna find everyone. Shivanti wasn't the. Still. I mean, we all gotta start somewhere, right? Not me. I got a pretty you, nice. You I got started nice, there, bro. So I got a nice there. fucking track record. I was just going to her to get some, uh, some to just experience. get acclimated yeah, into the world. Yeah, to yeah, figure it out. That was like my situation so, with, with the breakup. High school. I'm assuming is when this happened to you because you were and still are a very attractive girl. You look the same. Thank you. Uh, the hair is different, and the dress is different. The dress style. <laughs> You were very uh jeans and tomboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, but but I appreciated that she didn't care. Mm, she didn't care that I appreciated. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. didn't. She didn't care that I appreciated that fucking. But anyway, so I'm assuming high school is when it's beginning to take place, right? Give me your fucking. What's what's your story? Are you married? No, single. Children. Mm. Yes. How many? I was married for ten years. <gasps> wow. To Eric. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> Was it Damn. someone you guys went to school with? No. Oh. Mm -mm. How do you married for ten? Well, which when when did this start? High school, senior year. Oh, you married Lincoln. your high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And he went to Lincoln, I'm assuming. No, he went to Ferris. Ferris, a Spanish guy, huh? Dominican. Uh, good old. No wonder my good, downfall. Yeah, good old, good old Ferris. Good old <laughs> Ferris, full of Spanish people. So you guys were together ten years. Yeah, I do remember that at some point. Because, uh, yeah. You called me when I was living out in Maryland one time. I don't know how you got my yeah. number. Whoa. <laughs> You're a creep. I, I found her. And were you already pump it up, Joe? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, can we stop referring to me as that? By <laughs> I way? Mean, that's all. Like, it's my only point of That's dick. actually the only song I know of his. <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay, well, she we still, she knows, here. but she knows better. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, I did find her, mm -hmm. and she was living away somewhere, and she did have a kid, mm -hmm. and she had a, yeah, I think I saw some pictures on MySpace or something like that. Those yeah, MySpace she had like a whole happy call. family going on, I was like, all right, cool, So, but then that didn't work, Oops. and now you are back in Jersey. Jersey. Mm, I'm in Jersey. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, and you're in Jersey. I mean, I'm just saying, yeah, we're, we're yeah. all in Jersey. We're all New Jersey natives. And, and I'm living there single like a one dollar bitch are you <laughs> oh yes i am so in high school did you ever find joe attractive he was cute i just looked at joe more of like brother type so were you, you guys oh, had a you guys what, had a relationship what a i mean he used like, to come, i used to cook mac and cheese mac and cheese and spam you don't remember yeah but i was trying to yeah, yeah man. Wait, he was, mac I, and cheese and spam i was, I was trying yeah, man. <laughs> wait, what, is, what is that story because that sounds disgusting uh she used to make that i used to cook, it, to cook for it lunchtime lunchtime we used to spam Yes. Yeah, you fry the spam, put it inside your mac and cheese. She is two years old. So that sounds oh, okay. disgusting. It's, it's, I've never even had I'm spam, sure. and I would never it's want to. It's in a but, can. It's canned meat. <laughs> and she's white. <laughs> let me let yeah. me say that. She just that's what's going on. You're trying to do this whole Spanish look today. Uh -huh. And you're fucking no. white. This is what? White I look people like I never, look every day. I have my no, a jersey on, my vans. Nothing is white about your appearance right now. Everything. But, yeah, but listen, back when we were doing the uh mac and cheese spam. I was still, you know what I mean? I was still trying to do my thug so you were trying fizzle. to play See, but that was in high school, too. Yeah, but I still, I wasn't that, uh, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, it. Did you, you had no game? I didn't know about women, really, mm. then. That's what it was. Okay. I was still figuring myself out. Now, today... Chad, you figured out a little Chad, bit too much. Shut the fuck up, Marissa. <laughs> I'm not the whore that you guys make me out to be. Oh, yeah, I didn't say right. that. 
Who so, said you're right? Wait, we never got to the second part of the question. So as his career blew up, did you ever feel like, shit, I shouldn't have married this She was married man? for 10 no, years. Not at all. Who looks at their husband like that? Yo, what a hoe. I'm not a hoe. I'm just saying where our minds are at, you know? <laughs> <Don't> love, <laughs> if you got to look at your husband like that. Maybe she wasn't happy. Obviously, they ended up somewhere, so it didn't end who up Who left all... who? Oh, he left you. I'm opening no, up. Like, I'm opening up a wall. Oh man! All right, all right. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. I don't want to make my fucking first cross cry and shit. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Okay, okay, cool. That that that's a say. How's your brother doing? He's great. Is he? Which one? Big I'm Chops. Three. Oh, he's good. Oh yeah, you do have fucking three brothers. Where the fuck is Big Chops at? He lives out in Linden. So he's still out here. Everybody's Jersey. out here. It'd be nice to see him at some point. I'm assuming you have his phone. Still like a barbecue. Yeah, we'll talk about that uh, off the air. So I noticed that when you did, uh, when your girlfriend gave us your social media, you had only had like a handful of tweets. Yeah, I'm not on. So social did media you like that. make a Twitter upon knowing all this had started happening? Nah, she had a Twitter. It was before. Somebody okay. probably made her erase that fucking Twitter. Yeah, your Twitter is very, uh, very low. It says something like four tweets. <laughs> I don't go on it. Like that. I don't so, even. I don't even have an Instagram. I just got back on Facebook. I'm not into that social media life. So what are you into? What do you do for a living? What are you into? Nothing. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm an office manager at OBGYN. I'm going to school for nursing. Oh, I got what a doctor do Look you at you ready at? to run away. <laughs> 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 look at you ready because to run that way. I have not found a good one. I keep, because I had a great one um, where I, when I was STDs. with my ex. No. <laughs> no. I do get checked every six months though. I just got checked. Um, but no, I had a good one when I went to when my when I lived with my ex in, in King of Prussia in Pennsylvania. Wait, do we have to talk about OBGYNs I mean, that's on a, a great fucking Dr. podcast? Where's that? In Hoboken. In Hoboken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go oh, check so them out. Oh, so you work in Hoboken. Yes. I'm not far from Hoboken. Yeah, that's great. This is great. So it's a girl? A girl doctor or a guy doctor? We have six doctors here. My, this is both. not a this fucking is health relevant. podcast. Maybe, maybe I'm going to get some patients to them. Maybe we're going to get some advertising going. You sound going. Too, in, uh, too inquisitive about that. <laughs> like, I don't know what your because pussy is I doing. Because I want nothing. But I want to find a good doctor for when I have children. You want to mm. stay with your OBGYN. My mother, I went to my mom's OBGYN. The one that birthed me, I was going to him as an adult. And then he retired. Marty, but so let me just reel you back in for just I don't care about. Oh well, look, OBGYNs are important to a I, woman's life. I just want to make sure that your fucking pussy is clean. My vagina is a hundred percent clean. Actually, no I, STDs. No. That doesn't even matter to me. It, should, <laughs> like, it matters to the world. I'm very. Nobody cares. If your I. Vagina's they clean. care because you know maybe I have a potential bay listening. Hey. Anyway. Mm. So now, why are you single? Miss what? It's by choice. Mm. Oh yeah, that means she's fucking got baggage. No, it's never it's that. never by it's never by choice it's never by, it's choice. by choice how long have you been single for seven months oh, oh. so they were, oh this is fresh so this is mm -hmm. a new oh this is oh this is getting great oh wow well, who the hell were you dating we don't need his name the divorce was seven months ago no the divorce oh. no was five years oh oh you okay so the guy that you just left how long were y'all together two years mm. yo I can't lie. I hate to be petty next door here. I'm kind of happy that Alma's failing at fucking love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of... I am kind of... It's, like, so it's, it's like the curse of Joe. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is fucking great. No, I don't have your I don't have your curse. How do you know? I um, don't. You were just with a guy. Maybe she chose to leave him. It would well, still be a, it would curse. be a curse. Because he ended up being yeah. mm. This is wonderful. I'm so happy that your love life is failing. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> Not that mine is doing great Right. Uh, you haven't done much better. Let's check out your track record. Oh, man. My love life. Oh, I'm going to find love out there, though. Hmm. I am. Faster than you. Yeah, no. I'm going to find... I have... I have nothing. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your life is not conducive <laughs> to finding love. No. So, so, does it, so do you still want this guy? No. The guy you just left? Oh, he fucked up. That was a fast <laughs> no. That no was entirely too quick. Now I'm cool. I'm good. Nah. Damn, we don't want him. Nope. What want... do you look at? Do you think Joe's attractive now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this nice and awkward. Uh, Let's that, get this fucking that awkward. That ain't, fuck. that ain't awkward. <laughs> truth ain't truth. nothing awkward about I that. I still see him as Joseph. Aww. Nothing's changed. Oh yeah, little Joey from oh, the no, block. Oh no, 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 no. That's the that's the PC answer. <laughs> that's the very safe safe answer. Mm. Listen, Joe today at thirty four. This ain't little brother Joe from mm -hmm. thirteen in motherfucking uh in uh what was the teacher's name, Miss. Starts with a dub. Miss Wit. Miss Wit. Yeah, you remember her name? Yeah. Did you watch Love and Hip Hop when he was on it? No. 
No, she she's really telling you she didn't have about shit him. about shit. Her man wouldn't let her do anything. He kept That's her. Not true. He kept her in a basement somewhere. <laughs> in a box. <laughs> in, in a, a cage. Yeah. In a dark room. shit about. <laughs> and God, got her yeah. through a fucking. Exactly in a cage. <laughs> What's happening in the world? So what do you do for fun? You don't have fun. I don't have fun. That's no. sad. I'm not a club chick. Do um... you collect anything like stamps? No. <laughs> So what's wrong with you? What are your what are your defects? What do you mean? What's wrong with what me? are you? What's car- wrong with you? Oh, plenty. I don't think, Everything. I don't Can think we, we start have enough list? time for what's wrong with me. I'm a tad bit off, but that's okay. Um, fuck you, Marissa. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm off. I'm just totally, totally crazy. But yeah, everyone has something wrong with them. Right. What would you say, you know, if you were in a job interview, what your weaknesses are? No, 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 no. That, that's bad. <laughs> that's that's bad. That's bad. We don't care about about that. Like, um, if if I were to ask your ex, mm-hmm. what's wrong with you? What would he say? Hmm. Well, you're Spanish, so you're crazy. I'm gonna say psycho Spanish. Yeah, 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 that was literally yeah, rolling yeah, yeah, off yeah, my yeah, tongue. Yeah, 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 you're stolen too. You're Spanish, so you're crazy by default. Somewhere in there. Yeah, have right? anger. Anger. Mm. Oh. Anger. Have you ever punched a hole in a wall? Yes, I have. <laughs> I was so joking, but that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking uh, yo! I'm ecstatic that Alma is single and angry. <laughs> have you broken electronics? <laughs> no, I used to be angry. Huh? Have you broken electronics such as cell phones mm. and televisions, computers, uh, cell phones, stab tires, yeah. slash tires? Mm. Mm. Mm, had a good one here. There's been some cheating going on. <laughs> She's been cheated on. Bust the windows? I wouldn't have no, cheated on no. you, but you blew that one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you ruined that one. <laughs> you had your chance. Oh, well, well, all right. So have you been curving uh, recently the way that you curved me in sixth grade? I did not curve you. You did. I did not. You knew that you I was... You never made a pass. You didn't shoot your shot, You Joe. never made a pass. I didn't know how to make a pass. Well, you, now, you, so, now you know. But I was attracted to you. You knew I was attracted to you. <laughs> and you didn't care. That's a curve. Mm, that's valid. Yeah, right. That's yeah. a curve. Yeah, you can't get curved every day, B. Because I think I told somebody to let her know that 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 was the case. He told somebody to let her know. Yeah, well, we don't respect that. In the sixth that's grade, in the sixth grade, it's respectable. I yes, bet you, is. Eric Carantini told her straight up, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> so that's why he won. Probably. Well, I don't know that he won because according to <laughs> Alma, <laughs> according to Alma, nothing ever materialized you know <laughs> there, and I don't know if I believe. Alma. What? With that. She was enamored with this guy. Did you guys kiss? We yes. Did. That's the only thing. Oh, you my did. God. <laughs> what the fuck is Sorry, going Joe. on in the world? Eric Sorry. got a kiss. I got spam <laughs> and macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened, though? After one of those uh, macaroni and cheese and spam lunch dates, I think we were supposed to do that again. And that's when I had it set in my mind that I was going in. I was going for the fucking kill at that next one. And then the next one just never happened. That's horrible. Because you were talking to Maggie. And Maggie was your friend? Yes. Look how spiteful I was. I was so petty and hurt. You were so petty and still petty. I was so petty and hurt. (laughs) I said, let me talk to her friend. That'll teach her there. I wonder what what, what happened with me and Maggie. I wonder why that failed. Well, clearly I didn't have sex with Maggie. Because she's not even... spiteful and hurt? You still have her here... 30 years later. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, that's a good point. Yo, who would do this? Who would bring their fucking first crush, first curve, 20 fucking years later? Joe, Joe, I want to tell you something. Um, Several years ago, when I first started my talk show in D.C., I had a girl that I'd been hollering at at the end of college who I'd known for a long time, almost as long. And she'd never give me any play. Mm-hmm. I brought her up here to the radio show. Did almost this same segment. Do you know how it ended? You got play. You got the pussy. God, Marissa, why are you so crude? Well, kind <laughs> of, yes. It ended up with us eventually hooking up a little bit, and then I dissed her for my now wife. Mm-hmm. Oh, but that's not going to happen. That's such a love story. Oh, that's she not just said Joe Yankee. Hey, 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 there's that anger. <laughs> there's that. I didn't hear the, Nobody suggested anything. She just popped out. No, well, that ain't going to happen. He ain't getting shit. Like, damn. See, I can maneuver today. See, today we can maneuver a little bit. Damn, don't be so angry. Jesus. No one was even suggesting such a thought. So you would never consider a date with Joe? Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. Like a, who, I'm not setting you guys up. I'm just literally asking her mind state. Like if you if he was like, hey, let's well, what, go out for hookah. B. 
She, she finally doesn't like even hookah. know what hookah is. I do know what Spanish hookah is. Spanish women love Well, I don't hookah. know. She's been in a basement. <laughs> She's been locked in a fucking cage somewhere. I don't yeah. know what she knows. So you do know what hookah is. Yes, but I don't smoke it. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, do you eat food sometimes? Are you like a, <laughs> are you a robot? <laughs> like, you do eat from right. time to time, right? Of course. Okay. So, so... Yeah, but that would be two two old friends catching up. Like that's yeah. they, they are different versions of dates. There yeah. absolutely is. I think I should. I think I should do it for research. Shot. Purposes. It's been twenty years. Of <laughs> no, 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 no. No, today, today we won't shoot the shot. I just wanted to get closure. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I just needed closure this as to why closure. this was taking place. And well, I'm she, glad and, I can give you closure. And she gave me the typical Spanish woman curve. Do you feel I looked any at him better? like a little brother. Does First that... of all, how old are you? A little brother? I didn't say little. Oh, like a brother. She said, like a brother. I said brother. See, that's what like you think of yourself. A little. Fucking brother. Mm. Oh, no, baby. Ooh, quite. And she hey, got that hey, 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 hey. <laughs> quite, quite the contrary. <laughs> but. That's a, uh, that's neither here nor there. I don't want, I don't want to talk about that with Marissa <laughs> present right yeah. now. Chris. Um, but no, I definitely think that we should go. Uh, where's a like friendly place? The hookah friendlies. Lounge. Friendlies. <laughs> <laughs> Does that even is that change still even operating? Yes, they're still friendlies. Fridays is better. They have good drink selection. I do like. I don't drink. Yeah, but Alma probably. I does. don't drink. Oh, what? The f- oh, what do we're in love. <laughs> <laughs> Match made in heaven. <laughs> do you smoke cigarettes? Weed? <laughs> what are your vices? What do you indulge in? She is like a robot still. I'm not a robot. <laughs> you don't do shit. Do you have I any do. bad habits? No. I used to. She's do angry. I'm not angry. You told us you were angry. Used to be. Oh, so now you're Yeah, but fine. I feel like any man could bring that back out of you if he makes you crazy enough. So who are you dating now? No one. No one. There's not any. I just got out seven months ago. Why would I jump into another? Oh, what a good girl! (laughs) (laughs) You haven't got like. I'm so used to these hoe bags. (laughs) So there's like no hoe phase for you. Like you're not. No, there's no. Just that's just you. (laughs) (laughs) That's just you, Marissa. The post breakup hoe phase. Everyone goes through it. Which is, I I find that pretty funny that you're saying that, considering you've only had two boyfriends. Yeah, that's not called a post breakup hoe phase. That's just you being a (laughs) hoe. No, I'm very calm now. I don't really, I don't really indulge. So, how long, Alma, before you feel like you are um ready to date? Yeah, ready to date. Was that you were gonna ask? That is where I was going with that. And don't give me sexy eyes. Don't try it. Because you're like a sister. <laughs> I like Ooh, her little attitude. Reverse, reverse curve. I like this. <laughs> reverse. You're like a sister to me, all right? So don't even try it. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore, Joe. It's not. No? We're, buy- we're not buying it. So, Darn it. Yeah. Yeah, so how long before, uh, yeah? I don't know. Maybe a year or two. Jeez. God what are you going to do in that year? Because you're not going to drink. Jeez. You're not going to hey, smoke. I'm, you're not going to watch love and hip hop. I have my mindset. I'm just. Oh, what are you going to go to school for? Nursing. Oh. She is holding that pussy hostage. Oh, I already Jesus. forgot about it. OBJ. It's valuable. Why not? Don't just give it away for free. Well, not for free. Exactly. <laughs> Look at my Yo, maybe Alma needs to come away more often. Marty seems so confused. Wait, it is valuable. <laughs> Maybe, maybe she'd be interested in going on vacation. <laughs> uh, 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 to Bora Bora, That perhaps? is pretty funny. No, we can go to, uh, we can go to, uh. Staten Island, the exotic <laughs> island. We can go somewhere and, and. Oh, what a Spanish woman like, um, that place in the Bronx. Who's Don, going? Don Conky. <laughs> that don't even oh, Don Conky. Oh. See, she likes it. I knew it. I, got I, it. I won't be there. <laughs> we got terms and conditions okay. today, and I'm not just running the donko. I say that like I don't be in all the hood as fucking. Why don't you fuck. like show her some very fancy? You like that place on the water and uh. No, because that would that would that that, would, that makes it no longer a friendly. That date. would make her think yeah. that I want some vagina. So we have to do like a really <laughs> like friendly. A Joe situation. Outcast? I mean, uh, Outback. No. Look how hip. Look how hip hop I am. That's very Outback. basic. I went to Outcast from Outback. <laughs> that is so fucking hip hop. Uh, um, I think I think Fridays was better. You like their wings? I'm too famous to go to Fridays. You, what? <laughs> We're getting that T-shirt pressed up right now. <laughs> <laughs> too famous for Friday. Too, yeah, that, that, County that, Joe Budden that problems be, yet uh, again. <laughs> that wouldn't be an enjoyable experience for either Especially one of us. Especially the Fridays in Hackensack. We have to go somewhere where um nobody knows your name. Where people don't really care. 
Um, Wait. You didn't agree to this. Uh, yeah, exactly. We know, we know, we know. Yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 we're kind of just, <laughs> like I'm just running. I'm a running loose on. bar in like Maplewood. She doesn't drink. I don't drink. Oh, yeah. That would drink. be pointless. That would be really stupid. And the food's probably no good. Um, Ruby Tuesdays? Why do you know all the bird spots? <laughs> like, why are you just uh, Ruby Tuesdays, uh, Fridays? Personally, uh, I prefer Applebee's, but. Um, oh, you are a super bird. No, I'm just basic. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer Applebee's versus like Ruth Chris. Uh, we could do, um, um, what's this spot? What's this spot? Do me a favor, Mercy. No, stop just, suggesting. Just shut the fuck up. For, yeah, please, just, I need a second without your 12 year old brain dictating Philippe what Chow happens in my life. Place. No, that's where all the hoes go when they want some attention so they can Instagram a fucking uh, plate and say, oh, oh chicken I'm, satay. I'm over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing it. We can go to, um, we can go to, um, is that Pier, Pier 115? Yeah. Have like, you very nice ambiance there. No. Very super dope spot. Okay. I have so much to ask you that I cannot ask you here. So, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. What kind of music do you we'll listen to? We'll talk off of thing. Marissa, right, so wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look, no, yeah, look at just, fucking Marissa. <laughs> Everything. So you, salsa, bachata, merengue. Uh, everything. Uh, everything. Uh, everything. Uh, Joe Budden, I don't listen to Joe Budden. Uh, uh, I don't listen to Joe Budden. Uh, so that's not everything. No. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> How good is your bachata? It's great. I was married to a Dominican. Ten mm. years. How good is your bachata? My, yeah, really. Mine isn't too shabby. <laughs> Are you, well, you dated Dominican for a uh, for a while. Uh, all I've oh ever God, fucking guys, dated we all is fucking Dominicans. Aren't we? <laughs> no, you've friends. sucked. You've sucked and no. swallowed a few. No, <laughs> no, you didn't that, was date. My, that was my only Dominican. Smoke was the only one. And I don't know if I'm counting him as like a. We were together he's a, for two years. Yeah, but, no, I'm not talking about as a boyfriend. Oh, he's as like a, a weird introvert type. He's special, a special case. Uh, shout out to Rosa and Smoke, but he is a different type of. Okay, Spanish we didn't have to Dominican. specify which Smoke it was. Now everyone. Knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops, my bad. Oh, uh, but I want to thank you for taking your time out to, to provide me with closure. And thank you to your friend for facilitating. What, what's her name? <laughs> Brittany. Brittany. Thanks, Brittany. Brittany, you have you have all uh, you've helped me tremendously. I cannot thank tremendously. you. Tremendously. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, Marissa. I can't express to you how deeply appreciative I am that you made this happen. Um, and Pier 115. Uh, if you're free, which you are, because you're single and angry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? I didn't agree, you know, though, yeah. You know, I'm, uh, all right. Uh, uh, you, know, you know what about these, these Spanish girls? I got to get to the defensive mechanism <laughs> wall. She's hurt. She's guarded. All right, we'll, we'll deal with that off the air. Uh, how long has this been? How we're, long? We're getting the wrap-ups. So. How long? Longest episode so far. Time to go. All right, but how long has it been? Uh, 76 minutes. That's an That's hour. only 16 minutes over. We didn't Just get to our segment today. Oh, we didn't do what it, it might be, be over, over for. for. Oh, suspenseful. Next week. <laughs> Good, because Marty wanted to do, do Chief Keef, and I was scared he would shoot us all. <laughs> so <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Thank you. Uh, so I'll name this podcast late. I want to thank Alma Reyes for giving me closure. I want to thank Marissa for something. I mean, yes. she didn't do shit, but I whatever. Uh, and that's a wrap. Thanks, Peter, for being late. As always. <laughs> I'm here for you. One.